Rod Shelley here. I don't know if you can hear me over the uh, sound of uh, the com the uh, generator over next door or not. And uh, thank God for uh, for Joyce and that generator. She she uh, offered to plug me in. So I've got a cord running in there to the refrigerators and freezers so I don't have to throw out $300 worth of food like the last time this happened. We're, it's Sunday. We are powerless in more ways than one. Last night, somewhere between 8 and 9 o'clock, another storm rolled through. And, uh, of course, any time the wind gets up above 20 miles an hour and it rains, the power goes out. This is the third time in about a month and a half that this has happened. Independence Power and Light is, as usual, not anywhere to be seen. It'll probably be days before we get our power back. Maybe it'll be days before I pay my bill. And I'm getting really, really tired of this. Anyway, the uh, this leaning tree um, looks like the branch broke out of it. Yes, it was a pretty significant storm that came through. And yes, I'm sure that they're probably working hard to get power on everywhere else but here. That's the usual way things go. Um, you know, you, you, you'd think we lived a million miles out away from civilization instead of in a major metropolitan area. But uh, I'm just rambling on here. A lot of this is going to get edited. Anyway, now I got this tree mess to clean up. I got that leaning tree over there. Yeah, same to you. I've got this leaning tree. And uh, I suppose I'm going to have to pay somebody several thousand dollars to come out here and cut this stupid thing up and get rid of it. Because there's not much left. Anyway, uh, that's my current situation. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully... Next time I do one of these behind the scenes things, I'll have power back and uh, things will be more or less normal. Hey everybody, Rod Shelley here. <clears throat> and uh, just uh, wanted to add a little bit more to the, uh, to my uh, storm aftermath. Um, everything's back up, running. It's Monday now, uh, Comcast. I actually didn't have to go down there and report it. Apparently somebody else reported the outage because they, uh, they got it fixed earlier this afternoon while I was at work. And uh, now everything is uh, back to some semblance of normal, whatever normal might be. I'm beginning to wonder around here what normal is. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this isn't going to be a long, uh, long behind the scenes. Uh, I, you, you probably detected a little bit of frustration in my voice yesterday because uh, that, like I said, that was the third power outage in a month and a half. And it's like, I'm getting tired of this. <clears throat> but anyway, um, that issue is going to be rectified net later this week. Um, I'm planning on picking up a couple of... Uh, on un 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 UPSs, okay, and that doesn't mean the guys in the brown trucks. Uninterruptible power supplies, okay, which basically you attach them to your power line and you attach your computers to those and when the power goes out it's a battery backup basically and it gives you time to shut the computers down properly so when the power does come back on your computers don't scold you for shutting them down improperly and possibly losing files or something. Uh, <clears throat> fortunately I didn't have anything open that I hadn't already saved but uh, 
you know, sometimes I'll get to working on something in Photoshop or something and lose track of time and then the power goes out and I haven't saved it in the last half hour and I'm like, oh crap, there goes everything I did. But uh, anyway, uh, those battery backups or uninterruptible power supplies basically keep you up and running long enough to save your stuff and then shut the computers down properly. So uh, I'll be adding that to my repertoire of high-tech toys. Anyway, um, I did, uh, <clears throat> you saw at the beginning, at the intro, I did a little bit of a recon flight uh, over the jungle we have out there. And uh, you could see the tree that I pointed out in the, uh, in the video was, had actually been cut uh, about 5.30 Sunday morning. Uh, I heard chainsaws going. I was like, oh, chainsaws, and got up and ran down and looked out the window, and it was still dark, of course, and I could see flashlights going out there and hear chainsaws, and I thought, yes, they're going to get it taken care of. But uh, it was probably another several hours. They actually got it fixed about a little after 6 o'clock, so it didn't quite go 24 hours this time, about 22. So... Uh, Anyway, don't have a whole lot more on this one. Um, just want to let everybody know things are up, things are running. Uh, now I need to get busy and do some commenting and get busy and get started on the next TNA page and do some other fun things. So uh, for this episode of Behind the Scenes, I'm going to say farewell. See you later. I've got another one already started. Uh, that will be coming up sometime soon. And uh, again, at some point we'll do a little tour here and, uh, and show you uh, all of the things I've been working on and some of the things I will be working on. But for tonight, have a good night. Don't let the storms come and tear your stuff up. And uh, we'll see you later.